What's up everyone? Chuck Bailey with the Bass Channel here and today we are checking out the uh, Synonyx Cat Bass from Nordstrand Audio. <laughs> If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, obey, sleep, laugh, love, all of that stuff, do that. We're gonna have a lot more stuff coming up. We got all kinds of videos coming up. So remember, hit the bell, get the notifications, check the Patreon, stick around. Before we get started, I do want to point out and make it known to everyone and the powers that be, uh, for full transparency and full disclosure, we were compensated for this video in the form of the product that we will be demoing. Now, uh, we made it very clear with everybody that we work with, and we are doing so both publicly and privately, that in no way, shape, or form does this affect our opinion of the product that we are demoing. Uh, we want to maintain transparency not only with the companies that we work with, but with you, the beautiful people that we do this for. So now that that's all done, let's get into this. This bass is really cool. I love this bass because of the backstory behind it and the meeting of the minds that took place. So that meeting of the minds that I'm talking about is between one of my bass heroes, and I'm sure a lot of you guys too, Juan Alderete, and the mad scientist that is Kerry Nordstrand of Nordstrand Audio. Before we get started with this kitty cat of the future, let's talk about its inspiration, the Inspirado, if you will. We're gonna have to turn the Wayback Machine way far back to its uh, progenitor, the uh, Goya Panther. This bass originally from the 60s brought some really cool nuance with its unique aesthetics and its initial design, but it was admittedly, now that we look back on it, riddled with flaws. The push buttons for the Goya bass were mechanical in nature and by design almost all but doomed to eventually fail. The headstock design and the tuning keys made it to where the G string would touch, the tuning key and winding of the D string, and the list can go on and on. It was full of great potential, but just kind of held back by its design. Juan still loved this bass despite its flaws, and Juan being Juan asked and went to Carrie to see what he could do. Kerry, being the mad scientist, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that he was, set out to see what could be done for this bass and how to make it better. And the Asinonix bass is the end result. An improved, modern, tip of the hat to the Goya, but all of the design flaws removed to where all that's left is a short scale powerhouse with sleek looks and tons of tone options. some specs on the Asinonix bass, or for the sake of tongue tying and twisting, let's just call it the cat bass. Bass is 30.7 inches in scale length with 17 millimeter spacing at the bridge. It's an alder body with an Indian rosewood board, and for everybody that's concerned about bass weight for long gigs, this bass weighs in at six and a half pounds. It's pretty light. It comes in a ton of different colors with either a parchment or a tort pick guard for options. I personally asked for the Fat Cat package, which was the Dakota Red Asinonix with that tort pick guard. It just looks so cool. Two 
single chrome covered pickups. And here's my joke, guys. I don't know who makes the pickups though, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Nordstrom makes them. They're awesome. Four push button selector switches and uh, there's a super secret all in mode where if you press all four of the buttons, you get that all in series mode that that bass offers. And it's really, really good. Four tone selection buttons, which is flat, hard tone roll off, heavy tone roll off, and a mid range notch. Comes with hip shot lollipop tuners, a hip shot bridge, and the bass comes with Diodario nickel round strings. Oh, I forgot to mention, the bass also comes with this really cool leopard spot gig bag on the interior. It's about a hundred bucks. I didn't get one because uh, I'm not smart, but you guys can get one. You can ask for it when you make your order at Nordstrom Audio. I'm probably gonna get one just later. That about wraps it up though. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the bass in the comments. Uh, the, the tone options on this bass are tremendous. It has all kinds of thump and power, that really low end focus that you would not normally expect from a short scale bass. I was really impressed. It felt very comfortable. I didn't feel like I was out of place playing it. Um, but you know, if you guys have never played a short scale, it might take a little bit of some uh, some time to get used to it, but not much. It's, it's really a plug and play kind of bass. I think you guys will really dig it. Uh, go to Nordstrom Audio, check it out. Let us know in the comments. Let, let uh, Kerry and his team know in the comments if you like it, if you don't like it. Let us know what colors you like. I'm telling you, the Fat Cat Package, That's I'm, I titled it that. It's not called that. So if you're looking for it, that's that's me. It's the Dakota Red with that Torp Pick Guard. It is smacking. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Chuck Bailey with The Bass Channel. So long for now. Mm-hmm.